setting your limiters in a module. Using the two-way example, uh, one thing that is very important to cover is setting up the limiters. When using a module for a PLM uh, system, uh, one important thing before uh, finally storing the module is to confirm uh, the ISVPL setting. So this, uh, to do this, you have to go to the IO config and go to the IO config tab and click on the PLM info of this frame. When you go to the control tab on the uh, PLM info section, you can actually type in the value of ISVPL that is accurate or recommended for the low and the high of this two-way. So for example, uh, this can be calculated by using tools like Audio Calculator or by simple formulas by knowing the specification of the speaker. So let's say the low actually requires, for example, uh, 86 volts. That's the limiter, uh, the actual limiting value and voltage that we want the amplifier to allow to go out in that output. And let's say on the highs, we're just going to put 62 for this example. So we got 86 and 62. These are pretty much a brick wall limiter. It's a voltage limiter that's not going to allow anything beyond 86 and 62 to pass. There's also the option of setting a sub or a universal profile for the ISVPL per channel, which is very useful.